Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. So in my previous video, I bought some nozzles for the Cobra 3, but after a couple printing, it started leaking. Let's scratch today's problem. New merch dropping down below. And guys, I forgot to tell you this, but if you are going to buy my merch, use the code right here, S3DP20, to get 20% off. Well, yeah, as you heard there, I'll put a picture right here showing you where it leaked on the previous nozzle that I bought. And I did write a couple comments to you guys saying that I will put the correct link for the Cobra 3's nozzle in the description of that video and also this video. So if you are interested, check out the links in the description down below. And it's kind of unfortunate. Right after I bought these non-Cobra 3 nozzle, companies start posting Cobra 3 nozzle and I was like wow the timing is so amazing but yeah like I said I'll put the correct links for both videos but in this video I will show you the differences between this nozzle and these nozzles but unfortunately the Cobra 3 is fairly new so companies don't provide that much nozzle like previous 3D printers so for this package I only got 6 nozzle from 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0.8. To be honest, I don't really use 0.2. I really just use 0.4, and maybe I kind of want to test out one millimeter nozzle, but these are fine as of right now. So I'll show you here. Okay, so you get 2.4 millimeters nozzle. Let's get this open. And look at this. Look at that nozzle. I'll have to say, these aren't the best quality as you can see there. It's like the coating or something is started to peel or something. But hey, no nozzle is a nozzle. Can I see through it? Yes, I can. I can see through it, so it's really clear. Blow on it. I can blow on it. <laughs> Don't do that. So if we look at these two nozzles, they are very similar in size and stuff like that. But there are key differences. One of the difference is the length of the threads. The, the non-Cobra 3 nozzle has a longer thread. And the one that is for the Cobra 3, the thread is a little bit shorter by by I think just by one or two turns and the head are totally different for each other and I think here's the main difference between these two nozzles that actually makes a huge difference is the top here if we take a look very closely at the top here you can see that this one is for the Cobra 3 and this one is for all the 3D printers you can see that the top on the Cobra 3 has a smaller head which I think it leads to a tube that actually fits this hole right here and so that will have a really nice seal and so that the filament does not leak it unfortunately leaks from up here on this nozzle type and on the Cobra 3 it has that top so that actually seals it off preventing any leaks and of course if it's made for that thing it's gonna work if it's not made for that thing it's not gonna work what am I doing right so let's go ahead and install this thing on the Cobra 3 once more. Oh and yeah, by the way, I'm gonna return this in case you're wondering. So in my previous video, I did show this process, but I might as well just do it again. Just in case people haven't saw that video, you put on this two side here and then pull this thing upward. Push here and then you just pull it like that. It's gonna release very nicely. And now we can just put this thing aside here. Now we are gonna take off the silicone. Just like that. And as you can see there, it's a breast nozzle because it was leaking, so I decided to replace it back. These Cobra 3 nozzle are 6 millimeter socket. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna do this cold and see if it works. Holding onto this heat block and then just turn left. Okay, it doesn't work. I need to heat it up. Okay, it's getting up to temperature. It's about 200 C right now. Clean this up. Okay, here we go. There we go. Very easy. Heating it up is very easy to unscrew. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Smoking. Now I'm going to try and take this out. Come on. Come on. Let's get everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got everything out of the nozzle. I think those black spots are from the previous nozzle that I installed 
that was not supposed to be in the Cobra 3. I'm gonna clean this a little bit. I'll put in the hardened steel nozzle. It's time to install the correct nozzle. Let's go. Oh yeah, you can just do it by hand. That is very nice. I'm gonna hold the heat block and then turn it tight because I don't want anything to leak. There we go. Kind of damaged the heat block, but <laughs> it's fine. I don't think it really matter. That sits so tight. Better than the previous non-Cobra 3 nozzle. Just need to install the silicone on top of it. And look at that, it fits so well. Now we can just put the cover back by putting these two pin up here first. And then just push this any cubic logo in. Just like that, it's in. And we are done installing this hot end for the Cobra D. And look at that, it actually finished. It's broken. Any cubic, what is that noise? Tell me. Okay, it actually finished printing this benchy. Come back, don't go away. The last one, it flew off. But this is the correct nozzle, so it actually works. Let's go. Okay, so this nozzle actually printed. Look at this. It actually printed a full benchy. This one is the one with the breast nozzle. So last time I took it off, replaced it with the breast nozzle, and we do a print just to check to see if it still work. And it printed very nicely. But it's a 11 minute benchy, so it has some defect as you can see there. But here is the same thing for the hardened steel nozzle. So. In terms of quality, I think they're both really good. The hard and steel nozzle, like I said, and many people have said online, it's not that thermal conductive, so it has to be higher temperature in order to receive the same temperature as a brass nozzle. I think it's about 5 to 10 C difference for hard and steel nozzle against brass nozzle, but at least it's working, no leaking, it's printing, and amazing results like this can achieve. And you can print almost all the filaments out there, carbon fiber, fiber glass, anything you really want with hard and steel nozzle and it's not gonna wear that fast okay so now let's take a look at these two nozzle they are so similar and basically the same thing man what, what am i saying it's basically the same thing because it's made for the cobra 3 and yeah i'm so happy that these actually came out right after i bought those non cobra 3 nozzle but anyway i say that too much but yeah it's exactly the same thing it has the top small hole or loop or whatever that's called, I don't know. But yeah, this nozzle works great, just like the original nozzle that comes with the Cobra 3. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. If you are interested in Hardy's 2 nozzle, I'll leave a link down below so you can go and check it out for yourself. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't yet, join our Discord, it's amazing. Get yourself some merch, use the coupon code below. And if you want to support the channel more, join the Patreon, I will have more stuff there. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep on 3D printing.